Hello everyone, now in this video, I will solve one of the major problem with ESP8266 12E board which is attaching multiple analog sensors with it. As it got only single analog pin, so we are unable to connect multiple sensors to it. But don't worry, now you can attach up to 16 analog sensors with this board. So watch this video till the end and I will let you know how to make it. So let's get started. For making this project, you will need these many components. Here, the major component is 16 channel analog multiplexer module. Well, with this module, we can easily attach up to 16 sensors. In this particular video, I will demonstrate this by using only 4 sensors out of them, 3 are potentiometers and one is a photoresistive sensor or we can say LDR. So the connections of all the components are something like this. I have designed and ordered PCBs from jlcpcb.com. Here the PCB cost is cheap, its quality is amazing and you can get the delivery at your doorstep. I have ordered 10 of these PCs and hey watch this video till the end I will be announcing when giveaway for these PCBs. Now for designing the PCB go to easyeda.com. Here you can easily design the PCB. Just pick up the components from the parts section and make the connections. Here you will also get this 16 channel analog multiplexer module. So no need to design it on your own. I have designed this whole PCB in a two layer format. After that we need to save this in a Gerbil file format. Now go to glcpcb.com. Make an account here and after making an account, log into your account and place your order. Just upload that Gerber file you just downloaded, select the number of pieces and you can also select the color for your masking of the PCB. Now check out for the payment and you are done. Just wait till the PCBs arrive. Try out GLC PCB once, it's amazing. Now I will shoulder all the components one by one. I have used this female headers for ESP board and that analog multiplexer module so that I can use these two boards for my another project. For sensors I have used 3 potentiometers and 1 LDR which is arranged in a potential divider circuit form. So I will shoulder all these components on the PCB. After shouldering all the components it will look something like this. Now let's move towards the coding. This is the final code for this particular project. I have made this code by merging Adafruit ESP266 MQTT example and my own made 16 channel analog multiplexer code. You need to have 4 digital pins to access 16 analog inputs. So total pins on the ESP side will be 4 digital pin for the multiplexer IC and 1 analog pin to read all the sensors. So first of all, we will fill the basic details like the SSID name, password. After that, we will go to io.adafruit.com and log into our account. Then we will go inside one of our dashboard. After that, we will select the new block. We will go for gauge this time. Now, here we need to make four different feeds as we are going to monitor four sensors. So we will give the names as sensor 1, sensor 2, sensor 3, and sensor 4 and for all these feeds we will create 4 gauge and we will be setting the limit from 0 to 1023. Now we will copy and paste the account name and its key inside our code. Now we will comment out the subscription part and we will create 4 published variables by entering proper feed names. You can get the feed names from this question mark icon above the gauge. Now I will modify this published section a little bit and will compile the code to see if there is any error or not. Here we need to use this binary number system to select the 16 inputs. So for first I gave low signal to all 4 pins of my multiplexer module so that it can access the sensor 1 of that module. Now compile this and see. Okay, so the code is perfectly compiled now. 
Likewise, I wrote the code for REST3 sensors. Okay, so now I'll save it and upload it to my ESP board. So it is successfully uploaded. Now let's observe this in action. I will change the value of potentiometer one by one. Great! So I am able to monitor all the four sensors with just single analog pin of my ESP board. Likewise, you can connect up to 16 different sensors by using the 16 channel analog multiplexer module. So this is all about today's project. Hope you found this project interesting and useful. Give a big thumbs up and let me know that you loved this video. For the giveaway, simply share this video on your social media handles like Facebook, Instagram or Twitter and put a hashtag IamTechieSMS. Don't forget to put this hashtag otherwise you won't be eligible to win this PCB. After posting, just DM me on that same social media handle. Like if you posted it on Facebook, just send me a message on Facebook that task completed. After that, I will choose the winner based on the number of engagement on the respective post. So yeah, subscribe my channel if you haven't to learn more about ESP and more about IoT. Okay, so wait for the next project. Next project will be much, much more interesting and much more useful than this project. Till then explore and share with me, Techie SMS.